In this video, we look at football star David Beckham and where he is today. He was onside. 1-1. One, one. David Beckham is more than just a legendary footballer and sports personality. He's also a fashion icon, philanthropist, model, stand-up father, and all-around heartthrob. It's easy to see why many seem to forget that before he graced our screens in underwear and designer outfits, he was just a little English boy who was a die-hard Manchester United fan. Today, we take a look at David Beckham then and now. Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an update. Let's jump right back into the video. Born in May of 1975 to parents Ted and Sandra Beckham, an appliance repairman and hairstylist. David thought he was the only son, not the only child of his parents. He had two sisters. If there is one thing the siblings had in common, it's that they were diehard fans of their home football club, Manchester United. David's love for soccer dates back to his early childhood, when he won the Bobby Charlton Soccer School's National Skills Competition. At the time, he was just 11 years old. His victory caught the attention of Manchester United scouts soon, and it wasn't long before he was debuting with the team in 1992, shortly after his 17th birthday. Beckham wasted no time in displaying his talents on the field, and the world noticed. After helping the club retain its league championship, he was named PFA Young Player of the Year in 97. That was also the year he met his wife, Victoria Beckham, who at the time was Posh Spice of the popular 90s girl band Spice Girls. The following season, Beckham made his mark in the world of football as he was integral in helping Manchester United win the treble of the Premier League, the Champions League, and also the FA Cup. Along with his achievements on the field came endorsement deals to the tune of $13 million, not including the already existing deal with Adidas that he had landed earlier that year. Again in 1999, he made history by leading his team to victory after victory. However, he became the first ever English player to receive two red cards and the first three Lions captains to be sent off. 1999 was indeed an eventful year for Beckham. The star midfielder was also winning in his personal life. He welcomed his first son, Brooklyn, married the love of his life and bought their famous home in Hertfordshire, which at the time was valued at 1.7 million euros a home which has now been nicknamed Beckingham Palace. David's wedding to Victoria drew international attention with good reason. It took place at Lettrellstown Castle on the outskirts of Dublin, Ireland, which sits on a 560-acre estate. Victoria wore a diamond-crusted crown and David an ivory suit. With its $800,000 budget, you can be sure that the Beckhams spared no expense in celebrating their special day. After David's wedding, he went on to renew his contract with the Red Devils for three more years for a whopping $22 million. And that time, he scored a last-minute free kick against Greece that qualified England for the 2002 World Cup. Unfortunately, England didn't make it to the finals as they were eliminated in the quarterfinals. With so much promise and passion for United, it shocked the world when it was revealed that Beckham was leaving United for Real Madrid in a surprise deal in 2003. The transfer brought to light the feud between the club's managers, Sir Alex Ferguson and Beckham, which had reportedly been brewing for a few years due to Ferguson's disapproval of Beckham's celebrity status, which he believed was distracting the young star and dividing his attention. Upon joining Madrid, Beckham played alongside the likes of Zidane, Luis Figo, and even Ronaldo. He was in Madrid for four years and scored a total of 13 successful goals. The Madrid star was making headlines across the world and the U.S. as well with the movie title even adopting his name, Bend It Like Beckham. After he left Madrid, the football star signed a five-year deal with LA Galaxy and moved across the Atlantic Ocean to join the American Soccer League. The transfer was seen as a move into the entertainment industry as Beckham ventured into commercial clothing thanks to his partnership with a clothing company, H&M. In 2013, Beckham announced his retirement from soccer, ending his 20-year-long football career. Fast forward several years later, and our former football star is a full-fledged businessman, underwear model, actor, and all-around celebrity. The Beckham brand didn't slow down after his retirement from football, but seemed to skyrocket. He bagged endorsement deals left and right, some of which includes his deal with clothing company H&M's underwear line, a partnership that has burned the former football player's physique into our minds and equally opened doors for more campaigning opportunities with brands like Tudor Watches and Hay Club Whiskey. 
Of course, we didn't forget his lifetime deal with the sporting brand Adidas. He continues to model for the company in various recent campaigns. He joins a few A-list celebrities, including Beyonce, who also have lifetime deals with the sports brand. Beckham also owns several businesses and companies that manage his brand name, image, rights, and commercial bookings. The soccer star has also made appearances in a host of movies, including The Man from UNCLE, The Class of 92, and King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, to mention but a few. He also starred in his self-acclaimed BBC documentary titled David Beckham, Into the Unknown, which was released back in 2014. Oh, and there is more. Beckham is the majority owner of Kent & Kerwin, the fashion brand which collaborated in making the menswear collection for the popular BBC series Peaky Blinders. The soccer superstar isn't all about getting the bag, but also giving back to good causes. The Victoria and David Beckham Charitable Trust raises funds to provide wheelchairs to disabled children in need. His passion for helping children led to his appointment as a UNICEF ambassador. He is also a founding member of the Marlaria No More UK Leadership Council, which helps provide preventative gear against malaria in his homeland of England. Beckham is also a full supporter of the Help for Heroes Foundation, a charity that helps injured service personnel returning from war zones like Iraq, Somalia, and Afghanistan. Needless to say, this football star has grown over the years from a small-town football player to a household name that will live on long after he passes. That's it, guys. What was your favorite goal from David Beckham? And which France do you think he will model for next? Let us know in the comment section below. And make sure to share this video with your friends. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.